uh, I went to the GP and, and she said, um, accept that I'm growing old and um, my flow will, will weaken. Um, so I left and um, soon afterwards my wife offered um, started working for Macmillan. And um, during her time she learned, she's learning more about cancer. She was trying to um, influence me to go for um, a PSA check. And for six months I put her off um, until May this year. And this is um, 18 months after going to the, to the GP. Um, I went for the PSA check and, and there it was within a couple of weeks I was diagnosed with um, prostate cancer. So having attended a clinical appointment I was told the waiting was um, six months so that was more of a shock um, for me than being told I had cancer because I didn't know how aggressive the cancer was at the time and um, waiting six months just wasn't on my list. Um, so we did some investigation and um, we decided that um, it was better to go private. One of the things I learned was the impact that prostate cancer has on African Caribbean men. And um, I think there is a real piece of work to do because um, I, through this journey, I also found out my father died of prostate cancer and I wasn't aware of that um, until um, I visited my mother to tell her that um, I had prostate cancer and we looked at his, birth certif his death certificate sorry, um, and realised that he had died from prostate cancer. I wasn't aware of that um, and he'd lived with it for many years without treatment and having conversations with um, other African Caribbean men and women colleagues, they say, well, it's something that African Caribbean men live with because they know they can live a certain amount of years um, without the treatment. Um, and I think with modern treatment, the way things are, um, it is worth raising the awareness so people can have the treatment as early as possible and go on that recovery journey. Many of the colleagues that I speak to, they talk about how invasive and how um, the dignity, you lose your dignity through the tests that, that's carried out. Um, and I remember saying to my brother um, that I needed to go and have the PSA check and, and I said, oh, it's just so invasive. And he said, well, well, bro, it's it's life or death, you know, and, and I think that's the point that I, I got to was actually, um, do I want to live or do I want to lose my dignity? I think life comes first. Mm -hmm.